Hi everyone, this is Asma Azani, and now I'm going to present my presentation of a research that I have uh, performed in the academic year 2021-2022. Of course, the title of my research is an investigation of autonomous learning self-efficacy, a case study of GFP learners at University of Brain. During this presentation, at the beginning, I'm going to present my research problem. After that, I'm going to present the purpose of the study. Then I'm going to present my research research questions. After that, I'm going to present my literature review. Then I'm going to present my research methodology focusing on the prime instrument that I have used and the prime procedures that I have followed uh, in order to collect data and analyze it. After that, I'm going to present uh, my research findings, my research implications for practice. After that, I'm going to present my research recommendations and I'm going to conclude this presentation by presenting my research limitations. Let's start with the first point of this presentation, which is the research problem statement. Although there are many attempts of helping Omani learners to be active learners and take the authority of their learning, Omani learners are mostly dependent on their teachers in understanding or completing the prime tasks and projects. Omani students are least bothered or responsible of their learning. Therefore, the purpose of this research is to investigate Omani GFP learner self-efficacy of the autonomous learning aspects and sub-aspects. Of course, uh, in this research, there are two questions. The first question is, what is the University of Paraimi GFP learner self-efficacy of autonomous learning aspects? The second question is, what is the University of Paraimi GFP learner self-efficacy of the autonomous learning sub-aspects? Of course, uh, I tried to to review the past studies. In the literature review of my research, there are four sections. The first section, I try to uh, present the prime definitions. Okay, of course, my research uh, focused on holic definition of the autonomous learning. He defined it as the ability to take uh, charge of one's own learning. And of course, I have depended on what Pandora's definition of self-efficacy. He defined it as a person's beliefs of his or her capabilities to organize and accomplish actions that are required to achieve specific attainments. The second section of my literature review, I try to focus on experimental learning theory for uh, the autonomous learning, and uh, I have focused on social cognitive theory for self-efficacy. Of course, in the third section of my literature review, I try to uh, review the past studies. And in the fourth section, I try to uh, uh, present a critical overview of the past studies. I have found that uh, there are many studies uh, which focused on uh, the teachers and the students' perceptions of the autonomous learning. The, uh, the autonomous learning definitions, the prime strategies that the students prefer in the autonomous learning setting. Uh, in addition, I have found that uh, many studies focus on the relationship between autonomous learning and other variables or uh, the effect of autonomous learning uh, in improving the prime skills of English. However, I did not find a research which focus on autonomous learning self-efficacy. That's why I have performed this research. Of course, my research methodology is as the following. I have uh, designed learner self-efficacy of autonomous learning questionnaire. In order to collect data, I try to, at the beginning, to take the ethical approval of the research conduction. After that, uh, I try to explain the study purpose to the participants and informing them of their responses, confidentiality and anonymity. I try to uh, get the participants' participation consent. After that, I try to distribute the research soft questionnaire by emails and WhatsApp texts. After that, I try to analyze the participants' responses uh, 
and find the results. Of course, I have used SPSS software version 23 to analyze data, specifically the descriptive statistics. After analyzing data, I have found the following. For the first question, which is the University of Brahimi GFP learner self-efficacy of the autonomous learning aspects, I have found that Omani GFP learners self-efficacy in delivering is higher than their self-efficacy in identifying learning goals, monitoring, evaluating, and developing or designing materials and resources respectively. For the second uh, question of my research, what is the University of Brahimi GFP learner self-efficacy of the autonomous learning sub-aspects? I have found that Omani GFP learner self-efficacy in setting goals of what they want to learn, choosing the suitable materials of the lesson that they are going to te teach from the internet, working in a group to achieve an objective, taking the right decision of a problem, and finding a better way of teaching a lesson again in the future is higher than the other sub aspects of autonomous learning. Of course, the prime uh, implications of my research are as the following. The first implication is that Omani GFP learners are dependent. They can apply what others ask them to do. They have the desire to experience things and learn, but not to reflect, think or act. In addition, they have the main factors of self-efficacy uh, which is the interaction with the environment. The second application of my research is Omani GFP learners have self-awareness, but they do not have the higher thinking skills to analyze a course. They are unable to apply, analyze, synthesize, and evaluate. This result could support the idea that autonomous learning is a process of learning where learners have the authority of their learning, but with a teacher's guidance. The second uh, implication uh, the third implication is that Omani GFP learners have the motivation and regulation to interact with the environment and learn. They uh, prefer to learn by using the inactive learning, learning by doing. They have self-regulation, the agency that people tend to have to do the prime tasks. Of course, the fourth implication is that Omani GFP learners could have self-judgment, which is an important factor in uh, one's self-regulation, how uh, they may have the ability uh, to find solutions for a problem for a problem. However, they do not have the ability to test. The theories, OK, uh, the fifth uh, implication is that Omani GFP learners do not have metacognitive knowledge, the knowledge which is includes how to think critically, manage a process of learning and reflect on the strengths and weaknesses of the learning process. This uh, result could suggest that GFP learners do not know how to reflect on their experiences correctly. They could theorize theories, but they do not know how to test them. Of course, uh, the prime research uh, the prime recommendation of my research is that uh, the current research recommends all curriculum designers and teachers locally or globally to activate students practice of setting goals realizing goals of a course and reflecting on learning experiences practicing the reflective practice could activate experimental learning it will help students to set goals and objectives Set the plans to achieve them, apply, apply the plans, evaluate the results, theorize theories to improve the results and test them. Therefore, the aspects and sub-aspects of the autonomous learning of the students will be enhanced. Of course, uh, the prime limitations of this research are as the following. It was good if I could uh, use the mixed method research design. Of course, and it was good if I was able to answer the following questions. Why can Omani GFP learners at University of Primary set personal goals, not academic ones? And it was good if I was able to answer why aren't Omani GFP learners at University of Primary able to test the theories that they propose if they can interact with the environment and have self-efficacy to take the right decision of a problem. Of course, this is the end of this presentation. Thanks a lot for your listening.